Today's Today's Sunny 95. Sunny 95. Welcome to The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavitko, the show that brings you man-on-the-street interviews, celebrity guests, groundbreaking research, and heartwarming stories about the reasons we smile. Our show is also known as everything you've always wanted to know about dentistry, but we're too numb to ask. Hello, I'm General Dentist Dr. Kavitko, and thank you for joining me today. The following views and opinions do not necessarily reflect those of this station, its staff, management, or parent company. To hear a replay of this show or one of the great shows that previously aired, log on to TheReasonsWeSmile.com or iTunes, keyword Dr. Kavitko or The Reasons We Smile. Listeners should not use Dr. Kavitko's comments and advice in place of an actual dental exam. Brighten your life with a smile that shows the professional touch of Dr. Kavitko. Time now for The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavitko. Call 459-9769 to discuss your dental issues. Now, here's your host, Dr. Kavitko. Hello, everyone. Welcome to The Reasons We Smile. Thank you so much for joining me. This is episode number 440. And we have a lot to get to today. Uh, As you may know, I had my Dentistry from the Heart event uh, a couple days ago. And we want to talk about that. Actually, normally I would have interviews with some of the patients that came, but we were so busy I didn't think I should stop and do interviews. So instead, I'm going to tell you some stories that people relayed to me and some people that I met and that sort of thing. We're also going to thank all of our volunteers. Before we get started, let me remind you that if you want to follow me on Twitter, it's at Dr. Kavitko. And please go to my office Facebook page and like us. Also, past episodes, complete with video, are available at TheReasonsWeSmile.com. Now, as you know, Muhammad Ali recently passed away. He's going to be missed dearly. What you may not know is that in 1976, he lent his name and voice to a children's album to help prevent tooth decay. And so here's a little snippet of that. Now, at that same time, Charles and Timmy are walking towards the clubhouse. They meet Ali was looking up and down and all around for that terrible Mr. Tooth Decay and his sidekick, Sugar Cuba. My friends, have you seen two funny-looking characters running amok around here? I have a new battle coming up. Win! Win! Boom! This is a different kind of battle, and I have to train just as hard. Eat the right kind of food, and good, healthy exercise won't hurt either. This one's against Mr. Tooth Decay and the terrible, terrible things that brings that nasty Mr. Tooth Decay around. And his sidekick, Sugar Cuba, too. Wait, that sure is a big job. Very true, but it's one we can all win. All of us? We want to do it, too. We want to help. We want to help, too. Now there's a project for us to work on. Isn't that cute? (laughs) I did not know he had done that. And that was back in 1976. So according to the ADA back then, when the album was released, the information on dental health contained in this children's record is considered in accord with scientific knowledge of its day. The article added that, quote, the album's heart is in the right place and noble place and something that could always be said of the late champ himself. Isn't that cool? I thought that was so neat and I'm so happy that I found it. So uh, rest in peace, Ali. Okay, now, that leads me to today's topic, which is discussing, as I mentioned, my uh, June 10th Dentistry from the Heart event, and hearing statistics about the unmet dental health needs of the U.S. population, because they were talking way back in 1976 about talking out, uh, knocking out tooth decay, and I can tell you that we haven't done that yet. It's kind of sad, but we still haven't done it. So, well, let me just uh, mention that there are 108 million people that do not have dental insurance. And then we're going to talk a little later about how even people with insurance are finding it hard to get the dental care that they need. And part of it is because of um, it's, it, there's, there are access issues. Well, mostly what it really comes down to is access to money. And, you know, dental insurance is, uh, like I said, dental insurance hasn't kept up for even those that have it. It just hasn't kept up with with the cost of living over the last 56 years. So let me just give you some statistics to uh, to chew on, so to speak. All right. So, for example, low income adults are 10 times more likely to rate the condition of their mouth as poor. Across all income levels, nearly 30 percent said life is very often or occasionally less satisfying because of the condition of their mouth and teeth. 
One in four adults said they avoid smiling because of the condition of their mouth or teeth. One in five adults experiences anxiety over the condition of their mouth and teeth. So I saw this on the 10th. I want to tell you, I can't tell you how many people we saw. Actually, I will tell you in a couple weeks, but we haven't tallied everything. But what I meant was, meant to say is, we, all these people come in and they have these terrible cavities. They've been in pain. They haven't been able to get them taken care of. Several have insurance. A lot don't. And this one gentleman in particular, because uh, this one where it says that uh, uh, one in four adults said they avoid smiling because of the condition of their mouth or teeth. Well, I had this gentleman. I think he was in his mid-50s. And um, he had two of his front teeth, two of his four front teeth, not the very front two. One was a lateral incisor just off center, and the other one was uh, a central incisor. And they were rotten, they were black, they were broken, uh, broken off. And honestly, they both needed root canals. Now, as part of Dentistry from the Heart, we weren't able to do root canals because those take an hour to an hour and a half per tooth. And uh, we didn't have the ability to, to do that. We didn't want the people waiting outside to have to wait forever. So we limited it to extractions, fillings, and cleanings. But this gentleman, he, his name was John. And, you know, he just wanted these fixed, even though he needed root canals. I said, okay, I'm going to go ahead and fix these. We put a little uh, portlet in the back to allow for drainage. And we went ahead and did the fillings as though his root canal was finished and said, now, John, you have to go get a root canal to come here and I'll do it. But um, here, there you go. Well, when he came up to, uh, when he looked at himself in the mirror for the first time, and then again, when he came up to the desk to kind of check out, he started to tear up. He literally was crying because he was so happy that he had his smile back. And he was kind of trembling as he told me that, you know, Doc, you don't understand just how this has affected my life. I haven't been able, I don't think I've smiled for 10 years. And that was so touching to me to know that we had affected his life that way. And there are other stories like that, that um, I'm going to tell you as this uh, morning, I'm sorry, as the show goes on, but I just wanted to kind of connect that dot with one of these four things I mentioned. Let me, let me mention them again. Uh, one was low income adults are 10 times more likely to rate the condition of their mouth as poor. Another is across all income levels, nearly 30% said life is very often or occasionally less satisfying, satisfying because of the condition of their mouth and teeth. And then I just mentioned the one with John, where one in four adults say they would avoid smiling because of the condition of their mouth and teeth. And then the other one is one in five adults experience anxiety over the condition of their mouth or teeth. Now that was all part of a, a survey that was uh, actually the information on that. It was just released June 8th. I mean, literally just um, within the last week, you know. And it was, uh, I found it in the ADA News. The author was Jennifer Garvin. And uh, we're going to cite some more information from that later. But remember all four of those, because that is going to be the Dr. Kvitko question of the day topic today. And um, I can tell you that it's all of the above. <laughs> okay. So when I say what of those items is true, they're all true. All right. Okay, so now, part of today's show is thanking the people that made Dentistry from the Heart possible. And I know that whenever this topic comes up, there's always this urge to like, well, let's not just, uh, let's not name everybody by name because it takes too long. Uh, we'll just kind of thank everybody in group. And you know what? I'm not going to do that. I'm going to bore you a little bit with some of the people that actually helped us. And I really apologize. But you know what? We couldn't do this without these folks. So people and businesses that helped us are Beachwald Hardware, Brian Buck with Patterson Dental, Tim and Vicky from Craftworks Karaoke, Donna Janicek, Henry Shine Company, Henry Shine Dental, Maple Grove United Methodist Church, the OSU College of Dentistry, Paul Peterson Company, Roosters, Sunday 95, Mix 107.9 and Rewind, Rewind 103.5-1043, The Laughing Ogre, Captain Ohio, Association, Ohio Association of Food Banks, Molina Healthcare, Chipotle, Fabrizio and Schultz, which is a uh, accounting firm, Dental Fix RX, Culligan Water, Nationwide Insurance Hospital. They actually brought their mobile health care van and looked at some children for us. North End Wrench, Comet, which sells us the dental uh, drill bits that we use, and Tanya Eberhardt from Brandstar. All right, and then we're going to talk about the volunteers later in the show. But like I said, this is about um, kind of the state of 
oral health in the nation as we as we sit here and it's not good folks it's not good it's a uh, uh, it's very unfortunate the overall condition of mouth and teeth and there's a pie chart which i know you can't see but 39% is poor 21% is fair and uh i'm sorry i'm sorry i got it backwards 9% is poor fair is 21% and uh good is 39% so uh, basically, this is going to be really cool because now that we have this, this survey, we're going to be able to get with legislators, we're going to be able to get with uh, policymakers and agencies and see if we can't do a better job of taking care of our nation's health, dental health needs. All right? So, so as I mentioned, we always do Dr. Kavitko's question of the day, and you're going to have a chance to win free flowers from Vice Denver. And although there are going to be lots of choices and lots of words, I know when I do that, it's kind of confusing if you've just tuned in. But I'll tell you what, um, you know, well, well, we're going to do it when you come back, and, and I'll give you a big old hint, okay? So uh, we'll be right back after this little disclaimer. This station will not be held liable for any contesting during The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavitko. Participation in the contest allows Dr. Kavitko to record and broadcast your name and call. One winner per household, prizes are non-transferable, cannot be substituted, and are subject to taxes and fees. This station cannot be responsible for the inability to enter the contest, whether due to equipment malfunction or telephone difficulties. All decisions of Dr. Kavitko concerning this contest or eligibility are final. And now it's time for Dr. Kavitko's Question of the Day. All right, and as I mentioned, the winner is going to receive free flowers from Vice Timber Florist. The question is, which of the following statements is true? Is it A, low-income adults are 10 times more likely to rate the condition of their mouth as poor? B, across all income levels, nearly 30% said life is very often or occasionally less satisfying because of the condition of their teeth and mouth. C, one in four adults said they avoid smiling because of the condition of their mouth and teeth. Or D, one in five adults experience anxiety over the condition of their mouth and teeth. Or E, all of the above. And here's a hint. It's all of the above, folks. E, all of the above. All right. The winner's going to receive free flowers from Vice Number Florist. Please call 614-459-9769. That's 614-459-9769. So go ahead and call now. Hi, I'm Keith Carlos, winner of America's Next Top Model and star of Chocolate City 2. Look for my smile on the big screen this summer, courtesy of Dr. Kavitko. Stay tuned to The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavitko, the world's most interesting dentist. Hi, I'm Dr. Kavitko, general dentist and host of The Reasons We Smile Radio and Roadshow. Did you know that you no longer need to visit several different dental professionals to get more complete dental care? We handle everything from cleanings and orthodontics to restoration, implants, and smile makeovers, all in my office. And now we have two locations. Get the most advanced technology and procedures available today. It's more complete dentistry. Visit worldsmostinterestingdentist.com for more info about Dr. Kavitko. Hi, I'm Johanna, and I've been a dental patient at Dr. Kavicko and Associates for over 10 years. I would really recommend Dr. Kavicko for your family's dental care. They're friendly. They're always there to help me. I feel like family when I walk in the door. It's clean. It's comfortable. Even if I have to bring my kids, they have a great playroom for them. I know when I'm with Dr. Kavicko, they are taking that extra time to make sure that I'm going to be the healthiest I can be. They've been great. I love them. Call Dr. Kavicko and Associates today. 614-262-9 Hi, my name's Athena. My family and I have been patients of Dr. Kavitko and Associates for over 10 years. We've gone to Dr. Kavitko for numerous reasons, especially cleanings, crowns, and root canals. Since going to Dr. Kavitko, I get compliments every day on how beautiful my smile is, and people always ask me how I get my teeth so white. I used to be afraid of the dentist, but Dr. Kavitko and his staff make you feel very comfortable and relaxed, and I'm not afraid anymore. I would recommend Dr. Kavitko for all your family's dental needs. Call Dr. Kavitko and Associates today, 614-262-9588. Hi, this is Richard Simmons. Dr. Kavitko's here, and he's going to help you with all of your problems. Uh, are your teeth yellow? He can fix that. Are you missing a tooth? He can put a new one in. How is that? <laughs> That's very good. Thank you, Richard.
All right, we're back. We're doing Dr. Kavico's question of the day. We have four people on the line. We have Tina, Linda, Susan, and John. And I uh, rolled a dice when we were off uh, doing that break, and I came up one Tina. So, hey, Tina, how are you? Good morning. I'm fine, thank you. Thank you for listening, first of all, and secondly for calling in. So what is the answer to Dr. Kavitko's question of the day? All of the above. <laughs> Good. You probably knew that even without my hint, right? Yes, I did. Okay. Tina, what do you do for a living? Um, I work for a heating and cooling company. Oh, okay. Awesome. Well, get, guess you guys, I guess you guys are really busy now with 95 uh, degree weather. Yes, we are. Everybody's AC went out, right? <laughs> uh, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, hey, thanks so much, and stay on the line so we can get the uh, info from you as to where Thank to send you. the flowers. You're very welcome. Take care now. All right, so let's go back to basically talking about, you know, what I learned. Well, I already knew this, which is why we do doc, uh, the Dentistry from the Heart event, but each time I do it, you know, I meet new people, and they come in with different problems. So one person that I ran into yesterday was this woman. She was 23, and... um she looked like she might have been from Somalia. I didn't really know her dental history until I started. And what I mean by that is she has having tooth pain, severe tooth pain, and she was pointing to her lower wisdom teeth, which were trying to come in but weren't all the way in, and they were caught under the gum. And I also, in the x-ray, we discovered that she had a rotten wisdom tooth on her top right. And, um, and so her, her primary need then was to have these wisdom teeth out, and I don't normally do that much on one patient on a dentist from the heart event because we're trying to keep everybody serviced, but I just felt like I needed to because everything was hurting. So I said, okay, let me go ahead. I'll take these out for you. The bottom two were partial bony impacted. The top one was rotten on the right. Left side wasn't, but we took all four. And so I numbed her. And as she was getting numb, she started holding her, her, her chest up by her throat. And she was like, looking like or acting like she might want to throw up. And uh, then she sat up in the chair and we actually got a bucket in case she did throw up. And then she realized she didn't have to throw up. She was kind of like having a panic attack. And her cousin was there and, and was saying, oh, no, no, it's just that, you know, you're numb. He just made your teeth numb. And come to find out, this woman had never been numb before. She's 23 and she'd never been numb. That doesn't mean she didn't have dental decay. She did, she did in a lot of places, but she'd never been able to go to a dentist to have the care. So once we got past the part of her thinking that she, you know, one, couldn't breathe, or two, was going to throw up, once I was able to explain to her that this feeling she was feeling was because the message from her mouth, for example, when you swallow, to the brain telling you that you've swallowed was interrupted by the local anesthetic, uh, and that everything was normal. And I said, look, look, you, you're swallowing fine. It's just that there, there's nothing in there, but you keep swallowing because you think you didn't swallow. And so, okay. So then she settled down. She was okay. And, uh, we were able to just in about, well, I'll tell you what, we had the first two out literally in about three minutes and she didn't even realize that we had done it. She was so surprised, so happy. And, uh, we had the others out, which member I mentioned were impacted. So they took a little bit more work. But we got them out in a very short time frame, and I just feel good about the fact that now she understands what numbness is. She's not going to have any more pain from uh, these wisdom teeth, and she also knows about the cavities that are in her mouth, the other cavities that we pointed out to her, and hopefully she'll either come to us to get them finished, get them done, I mean, or she'll connect with a dentist closer to her home or whomever she chooses. But, you know, the state of uh, oral health is just not great in this country. And that's why, by the way, that's why I don't go to Honduras or Nicaragua to do uh, omission. You know, there is plenty of tooth decay and gum disease unmet need right here in our own backyards. You know, I'm sure there is uh, tooth decay and unmet, uh, you know, dental health needs in uh, Cleveland and Cincinnati and Toledo and Youngstown, you know, and Athens and Dayton and uh, Springfield and Zanesville, you know. So... We don't really, I mean, I'm thinking it's all well and good to go take care of those folks, but let's take care of people right here. And that leads me to uh, thanking more of the volunteers, because I'll tell you what, we would not have been able to see all the people we did if we didn't have all of the dentists that volunteered their time. The dentists, one is Dr. Joel McCune, Dr. Rick Berry, Dr. Tom Lyle. 
uh, and Dr. Mm -hmm. Justin Beck and myself. So between the five of us, uh, oh, and a, uh, um, a fourth year um, uh, Dent Four dental student at Ohio State University, um, uh, Dr. Uh, soon to be Dr. Eris Mordazavi. And, um, and then we had the OSU Dental Mobile Coach, and there were two or three doctors out there. Uh, it was kind of neat because I had uh, this woman in, no, it was a gentleman in my chair. We were getting ready to extract two teeth that couldn't be saved. And uh, at the same time, his son was out in the OSU Dental Mobile Coach getting a filling. So it was, it was really neat. So, and let me just uh, mention a few more of the volunteers. Uh, Karen Bartow, Kristen Dennison, Mary Jane Kipp, Carrie Kavitko, Tony Kavitko, Elizabeth Taylor, Desiree Struthers. Oh, and I have to mention the hygienists. The hygienists, again, without Christine Reichley and uh, Tonda Hockenberry. And you know what's really cool? Is Tonda is a uh, listener of this station, and she heard the promos of, of the event and thought, you know, I'm going to go volunteer. And, and I'll tell you what, without her, we would not have taken care of as many people as we were able to. And there's another listener of this, um, this show, Natalie Winnett. And, and it was so cool because she said, yeah, I heard it on the radio. And I thought, wow, how cool is that to take, out, take time out of their day to come and help us when really all they were was a listener of the station. So, you know, we hadn't met them before, but I'll tell you what, we're friends for life now. Okay, so we'll mention uh, some more of the volunteers at the end of the show. But before we uh, do that and talk more about unmet dental health needs, we need to go to a break. We'll be right back. This is episode 440 of The Reasons We Smile. I'm Dr. Kavitko. Again, we'll be right back. This is Clark Kellogg. Stay tuned for more of Dr. Kavitko. When it comes to the overall health of your teeth, trust the experience of Dr. Kavitko and Associates. From dental cleanings and exams to restoration, dental implants, and pediatric care, Dr. Kavitko and Associates can give you something to smile about. There's a lot of places out there that offer discount dentistry, but at Dr. Kavitko's, he actually takes the time. See what Dr. Kavitko and Associates can do for you. Conveniently located on High Street in Clintonville, call 262-9588 or online at drkavitko.com. Estás escuchando con Dr. Kavitko aquí en su sesión favorita. Hi, I'm Dominique Reigert. Like what you hear? Why not use the show to promote your product or service by becoming a sponsor? Call 614-262-9588 to learn how. That's 614-262-9588. Call now. Hi, I'm Dr. Kavitko, general dentist and host of the Reasons We Smile Radio and Roadshow. I've been honored to help several famous people get a perfect smile, like Keith Carlos and Dominique Rygaard from America's Next Top Model and Ted the Golden Voice Williams from right here in Columbus. Isn't it time you had a celebrity smile? It costs less than you might think, and most of the time, it can be done in one visit. A new smile can make a world of difference. Visit worldsmostinterestingdentist.com for more info about Dr. Kavitko. I'm Grandpa, and I go to Dr. Kavitko, and I still have all my teeth. Real ones. Where's my glasses? <laughs> All right, we're back. Now, we're talking about unmet oral health needs in the nation, so let me just give you some stats. About 108 million people in the U.S. have no dental insurance, and even those who are covered may have trouble getting care. The U.S. has about 141,800 working dentists and 174,100 dental hygienists. About 4,230 dental health professional shortage areas with 49 million people living in them. So there are about 322 million people in this country and about 40, what did it say here? 49 million, which is about one-sixth of our nation, lives in an area that has trouble accessing dental care. Now, now we have to talk about the reason there's a problem with access. It's a combination of things. You know, in rural America... So a lot of times, uh, young dentists don't want to live in a tiny little town. They want to have the nightlife, you know, they want to have a sports team that they live near, maybe maybe uh, Broadway shows, you know, theater, um, uh, the hustle and bustle. That's part of it. But the other is, 
is in rural areas, oftentimes you find a high uh, percentage of people on Medicare, Medicaid, basically welfare. And those programs don't pay the dentist enough to actually keep the doors open. And so you'll find a uh, dentist don't want to set up there or they can't set up there. So that's, that's something. And, and by the way, um, so now that we've had this new, uh, this study released, this one I mentioned, uh, just this past week, June 8th, here's a quote from it. Policymakers now have robust empirical data linking oral health, a long overlooked aspect of healthcare policy to physical, social, and economic well-being. That's according to Marco Bujicic, PhD, ADA chief economist and HPI vice president. Another quote, these numbers need to be a starting point for national discussion about improving access to oral health care for adults in America. And then to follow up on that, you remember the Dr. Kavitka question of the day comments, those, those, um, those stats I gave you. When you see these kinds of problems across all ages and income levels, it becomes clear that we need to re-examine how we finance and deliver oral health care in America. That's according to Rachel Klein, Director of Organizational Strategy for Families USA, a national organization for healthcare consumers. In the commentary section of the report, researchers urged policymakers to, quote, reconsider the separation of mouth and body in state and federal health care policy, and also recommend they explore alternate designs of adult dental benefits in Medicaid and private benefit plans. plans. It's time to re-engineer the health care system so that it recognizes the crucial part oral health plays in all of our lives. And again, that's Dr. Vujicic. And he said, put succinctly, it's time to put our money where our mouth is. I couldn't have said it better. We just don't put enough money into providing for oral health care in this nation. And we used to think that it was some kind of a separate thing, that the mouth didn't affect the body and so on, and the body didn't affect the mouth. Well, folks, we know that's not true. Absolutely is not true. And so it's time to take action on that, wouldn't you say? All right, so let's go back to some of the other stats. Uh, that I was mentioning. The U.S. spends about $64 billion each year on oral health care, but just 4% of that is paid by government programs. See, why is that? 4% of that by government programs. And that's why there is this access to care, because the government is not, or hasn't been, taking it seriously enough. All right, uh, I have more stats for you, but I don't want to miss out on any volunteers thanking them. So let's uh, go to, back to the list. Jason Cadrea of the Dental Network, uh, Melissa O'Donnell, James Raver, he is a EFTA, and uh, he was awesome, they're all awesome, Anna Soule, Deli Rygard, Carol Ellis, Jan Patton, Mary Walkley, Thomas Plaz, Diane Schlering, Bri Brian Mitchell, Crystal Davis, Gabe Torres, Mia Torres, who owns Signs by Mia, Tommy Torres, Elise Elliott, Claudia Blankenship, Leslie Latham, Michael Cook, Cassie Miller, Molly Schott, Coraline McClurg, Caden Martin. Oh, and here's a doctor that I forgot to thank, Dr. Uh, Stevenson. And Dr. Stevenson is the prosthodontist, so he made himself available for dental repairs. Um, don't know if we had any. I know we had a couple denture adjustments, but anyway, that I still need to thank Dr. Stevenson for making himself available. So that was really cool. Okay, so we are out of time. I just realized that that is pretty good timing if you think about it. Okay, so what I want to do is remind you, if you want to follow me on Twitter, it's at Dr. Kvitko. Uh, don't forget to follow my, uh, or rather go to my office Facebook page and like us. It's uh, be really cool if you do that. Uh, and again, let me just thank everybody that helped with Dentist from the Heart. And if you are a policymaker or you know one, please do a better job of providing for better dental benefits for the people in need. It's just, uh, uh, we just have this huge need out there. All right, be sure to tune in next week and every week right here on your favorite station. Goodbye. This is Carly Red from Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, the hit show on VH1, urging you to tune in next week with my dentist, Dr. Kavitko.
If you're interested in learning more about this and other dental health topics, go to TheReasonsWeSmile.com to access full episodes of Dr. Kavitko's show. If you'd like Dr. Kavitko, the world's most interesting dentist, to speak at your next event, please call 614-262-9588. That's 614-262-9588 or send an email to speaking at TheReasonsWeSmile.com.